All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? In today's video, we're going to be discovering what can kill killer clowns from outer space. Now, I know the game isn't out, so these are all speculations, but we are going to be talking about previous games in the past that have passed away. That's very sad. <laughs> What can the devs do to prevent these issues? This video is not to be meant to hurt anybody's feelings. So if you do get hurt, I'm sorry. These are just basically facts from, you know, previous games. And these are just my opinions as well. Your opinion means very little to me. Also, this is not thrashing the devs at all. These are just my opinions of what they could do to prevent these big issues for killer clowns from outer space. Heck, these are even good for future asim games if anybody's gonna make one take these opinions to thought because i have been playing these asim games since the beginning of time i do want to mention that the devs Ilphonics have done a great job when it comes to marketing that's a bonus one it's not in my list but they have done a great job for marketing that's what you need to do to get your game out there. Rather, it's them going to PAX East. They have trailers. They have everybody promoting them on Xbox, PlayStation, all that. This game is doing a pretty good job when it comes to promoting. One thing that's a key factor that you need to do is get people talking about your game. Yes, the game is now, what, three months from now, but it's better to get people talking to get them excited. And PAX East was just a great addition to keep that going. Not bad, not bad. One video I am working on is a breakdown of the Killer Clowns from Outer Space movie. If you wanna see that, let's reach this video to 200 likes and I got you on that video. All right, all right, all right, okay, here. Here it is, the top five things that can basically kill this game. Let's start off with the number five, player progression meta. This is a huge factor. As somebody that loves making build videos, let's all agree they're kind of bad for the game because it just gets the strongest builds out there and everybody's just using them. And what happens is that in six years, if this game does have a lifespan of that, those same six perks get used compared to like the 30 other perks that are in the game. I'm not gonna name any names, but you know what game I'm talking about. What do you say fuck me for? If the player progression is so ass, nobody's gonna want to continue playing your game. And we're talking about the hardcore gamers that pretty much just know life a game, meaning that they play this game more than they work. <laughs> I'm talking about like the people that just are done within one week. We saw that with TCM. We saw that with VHS. Again, we don't know what the skill tree looks like, but a game like uh, Evil Dead, remember the, the skill tree for that? Once you were done, there was nothing there. Please, sir, I want some more. And the same thing goes for TCM. Once you reach the skill tree, it was very lackluster. And then another thing that the devs did wrong in that game and they still stand by it is random perks. The fact that if I want a perk, I have to spend so much time getting what I want. If it's not fun, why bother? There's a saying that goes, the faster your community solves your game, the faster they get bored. There's a way to make a game interesting with less being annoying. It's called listening to your fan base on what they want. Ah, of course. Once the game is fully released, it should be the player's game, not the developer's game. Sorry, but that's just how I see things. And I do understand there are people out there saying that I want this game not to be competitive, but I want it to have fun. Why not both? The truth is we're all competitive by nature. It's a team versus team game. So it's gonna be competitive rather if you like it or not. I mean, you can go in not giving a damn, which is great. Those are the type of people I like to mess with the most because they don't care if they win or lose. They're just having fun. But I don't want the game to be super esports, MLG, all this stuff, like no. Time after time again, we have proven that asymmetrical games and esports or whatever don't work. Am I wrong? Again, just my opinions. Don't get your pitchforks and ah, your mob on me, whatever. <laughs> Poor communication. Be nice if every month we got a developer update on some things, rather if it's a post or a video. Personally, I think videos are better because it becomes very personal. I mean, VHS finally started doing stuff like this near the end, but it was already too late. I think the more you're out there with your community, the more they see that you actually care. Again, I know it's hard to get on camera. Trust me, I'm, I'm one of those people I don't want to be on camera. Because I'm hideously ugly. But as a developer, I think it's best just to be open with your, your community about anything. Like saying, hey, we do know that, let's say, I don't know, Spikey is overpowered as hell. 
we're on it we're gonna be fixing we're gonna be tuning things out and if you really want to see poor communication oh boy just go to the tcm reddit and yeah the devs are unhinged so don't do that yikes <laughs> my goodness the next one we're gonna be talking about is bad optimization now i can't find a clip but a famous content creator named shroud basically came out and said if your game runs shit don't care if the graphics are good which i 110 percent agree so hopefully it has great accessibilities meaning that i could change fps i could change the graphics dead by daylight finally has done this it only took them six years but it's nice to have these kind of options i want just to have a flawless gameplay like yes graphics is amazing but if the game runs like shit, who cares about the graphics which i have to note that the graphics in this game do look stunning we've only seen like gameplay from packs but there is some gameplay online. It's just they're being very hush-hush about it because it's still an early alpha. It should be here soon. Also, if any devs are watching, can we please have two different options for FPS? FPS for menu and FPS in game. I like playing in 244 FPS, but I don't want that on my main menu because main menus take up more of your CPU, GPU, whatever. So if we can have two separate options, that would be great number two and that is hackers slash cheaters we can actually name two games that fell hard to this and that's vhs and tcm vhs not only got hacked once but they got hacked twice it was during the beta and when that happened they went on a three month break the next up we had was tcm who came out basically saying hey we're gonna take off crossplay for like a month and a half or whatever i think it was that long and then we'll bring it back once we figured out the cheaters and hacker issues which to this day i think there's still some but as much as the beginning probably because less players and all about the worst thing you ever did for the love of god please do not do what tcm did or vhs if you do have a hacker and cheating issue just let it flow until you fix it do not take anything off listen dbd had hackers and cheaters almost beginning of the time and it never really ruined anybody's experience. All they did was just leave the game and go to the next one. So hopefully there's no like penalty timer to, you know, if you quit the game, unless there is, if there is, but take it off when the hackers and, you know, cheaters situation happens, cause it's gonna happen. It happens with every asymmetrical game, but hopefully Ilphonic has something great to help with this issue. That's why I was hoping for a beta, but we're not, but maybe the one week early, if you pre-order the game, it'll help out with that situation. Maybe, but maybe not. I give it about two weeks until we start seeing hackers and cheaters because that's usually the time frame of every asymmetrical game that I've seen over the past couple years. It usually takes about two to three weeks for the hackers to come in and figure out the game. We're finally here, number one, finally here, finally. I know it's been a long video, but I appreciate anybody that's been here with me. Getting old. I know, getting old sucks. Number one thing they need to focus, content meaning maps skins anniversaries events all that stuff a lot of these games what kills them i'm not even gonna list the asim games you just know if they're not around they're not around for this reason content content is key we could talk about one game that is king at this that's dbd everybody can agree that content just keeps the game going and i know content is hard it's probably the hardest one out of this list to keep going because it takes time and i get it i have friends that work in this industry they show me how it looks and yeah it takes time i've seen interviews of Ilphonic saying that we have plans to keep this game going not to mention i've been told that Ilphonic did a great job for ghostbusters when it comes to content wise and balance issues so i am excited for that i do know Ilphonic has a bad pass because it's mentioned in almost every video i do about killer clowns that you know oh these are the same devs who did friday same guys who did predator they seem to jump on every game that's failing i'm here to tell you right now we don't care. Let me tell, all right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. I don't know what it is. I just have a really good feeling when it comes to Killer Clowns. When I watch interviews with the Ilphonic people, it seems like they know this. You know, who, who wouldn't know this more than them? It's happened to them so many times. I feel that for Killer Clowns, they're actually really ready. You know, it is one of those things where if you play a game 
you're, you're going to naturally just memorize things. Yes. And so we pulled that element out. So now every time you play, you can kind of like, okay, the, the, the bridge exit could be in these locations, but you don't know exactly where it is. Mm -hmm. This item can be in this location, but you don't know exactly where it is. And, and that's that's the breadth that I think a game really needs is yeah, you cannot statically make a map. And it's like, this is how it is every time because we're all good gamers. And we just go, I memorize this route. I memorize that route. I hit this, it, and then I go there. And then you just, you're just playing you know, CSGO. You're just yeah, the controlling the bump yeah. locations. And, and I love CSGO, but... What we're trying to make is a really fun community game where people are, are playing over and over again, but different people are playing and really giving you that, like, no one has map control right off the bat. You have these different dynamic elements that you can find. New skins shouldn't take that long. Uh, again, I'm probably being an asshole saying that. Somebody that's watching this that does art, they're probably like, you ungrateful little shit. They take a long time. I get it. Art takes time. But you do set your date, uh, what date you're going to release. So you would think ahead of time to make a lot of content. So this also means perks, means new characters. Content just means to keep the game going. And we need that. And a lot of these asymmetrical games, they just don't do that from the get-go. I mean, the fact that TCM came out with a new victim and no new family member is it's already a bad decision, in my opinion. What were you thinking? Who else did this? VHS. They came out with Deathwire, and they already had the survivor ready, the teen ready. But they wouldn't put them out because they were afraid that when if both of them were released people would play more teen than the monster if you had to list a couple things that keep the game from not dying i want to hear them in the comment section i want to read them again if you watched all the way to the end i want to say i appreciate you thank you so much it has been an honor have you not seen the new PAX gameplay? There's so much details that the devs haven't revealed and I go through it like no other. So if you want to see that, make sure to check out the video in near the end because that's going to show you some more gameplay. Thank you guys again for watching. My name is Jay and thanks for being you.